As you're aware, there are serious challenges, challenges facing our society today. Our energy security is a topic of much debate. We have economic challenges that are historic in nature. And our environment is under constant pressure. Yet, I have never been more optimistic than I am today. Today we come together to accept a remarkable opportunity that addresses the pressing issues that we have on our hands. Energy security, the economy, and global warming. Yes, through the continued development of clean and green, high-tech and homegrown ethanol, we have an incredible opportunity. And now, through the use of the corn cob in places like Emmitsburg, we are knocking on the door to the commercialization of cellulosic ethanol. In doing so, we are reducing our dependence on foreign oil and increasing our nation's ability to control its own security and economic future. You should know that a poet we continue to make great strides in our cellulosic ethanol effort. Our cellulosic process uh, technologies are progressing extremely well, and Project Liberty activities are on schedule. We are targeting completion in 2011. Also, an $8 million pilot scale facility at Poet Research Center in Scotland will be processing cellulose this month. This will be where cellulosic technology, technology will first be tested for being implemented at the plant here in Emmitsburg. And after Project Liberty is underway, the expansion of this technology will be staggering. In Iowa alone, the potential to roll out cellulosic technologies to additional biorefineries represents a $2 billion investment, 2,700 new jobs, 10,000 farmers with an additional revenue stream, an additional 675 million gallons of ethanol annually. At $3 a gallon, that, that will add $2 billion of annual revenue for Iowa. Who would have thought the humble corn cob could do so much? And further, on a national scale, as corn yields continue to increase and cellulosic ethanol is commercialized, the United States has the potential to replace all of our gasoline usage with this homegrown, environmentally friendly, renewable fuel. If you want to know what really gets me excited, it's what this could do around the world. Did you know there's over one billion acres of farmland around the globe that's currently sitting unproductive? This is true. And did you know that if this farmland were brought back into production for grain and biomass, we'd actually replace all of the world's gasoline usage with ethanol? And Project Liberty right here in Emmitsburg, Iowa, is at the forefront of this exciting, game-changing opportunity. Now some say, this isn't possible. This can't be done. So I'd like to share a quote with you from John F. Kennedy, U.S. President who just so happens to be the same President that charged a nation with putting a man on the moon, when that didn't seem possible either. He stated, the problems of the world cannot possibly be solved by skeptics or cynics whose horizons are limited by obvious realities. We need men and women who can dream of things that never were. That's what this is all about, men, men and women dreaming of things that never were. Whether it's a progressive community like Emmitsburg that dreams of new jobs and economic growth, or the local farmer who dreams of one day passing his love of the land onto his son and grandson, or the child who dreams of living in a cleaner world. Or the U.S. citizen who hopes to live in an energy independent America. Friends, grain based ethanol will continue to grow, and cellulosic ethanol will be commercialized. And that change is taking place here today. I ask you to join us in this effort that will not only provide economic opportunities for each and every one of us, but will also change the world we live in for many generations to come. So I sincerely appreciate your continued interest and participation in Project Liberty. And I look forward to working with you in the future as together we change the world's energy supply. Thank you.